Good evening, everyone. My name is Greg Amsinger from MLB Network. It is my honor uh, to welcome you all to the official trophy presentation of Major League Baseball's most prestigious individual player honor, the Roberto Clemente Award, presented by Capital One. The Roberto Clemente Award pays tribute to the late Hall of Famer's legacy, achievements, and character by recognizing a Major League player who best represents the game through these attributes. Extraordinary character, community involvement, philanthropy, and positive contributions on and off the field. MLB has been recognizing Major League players for their philanthropic work since 1971. Now, this special recognition was named the Roberto Clemente Award in 1973 to immortalize the 15-time All-Star after he was tragically lost in a plane crash on New Year's Eve 1972 on his way to deliver supplies to earthquake victims in Nicaragua. Roberto's humanitarian spirit continues through the tremendous generosity and community work demonstrated by major leaguers all around our country and the world. Tonight is a celebration of his philanthropic legacy that grows stronger each year. The original name for this honor was the Commissioner's Award. So it's fitting that I now welcome our commissioner, Rob Manfred, to present the trophy to this year's recipient. Rob? You know, it was an upgrade from the Commissioner's Award to the Roberto Clemente Award. I, I agree. I, I agree. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of great things about the World Series. Um, I think one of my favorite things is the opportunity to present in person um, each year the Roberto Clemente Award. Uh, we talk about the Clemente Award as our highest honor. Um, it is our highest honor because it represents the combination of on-field ex excellence and service in our communities. And I can tell you, I, I said this to Aaron standing outside, the applications for this award are really a credit to Major League players as a whole. They are just outstanding, and every year it's difficult to make a choice. Um, I want to thank our, our great partners at Capital One for sponsoring not only the Roberto Clemente Award, but the activities um, surrounding the award that take place on Roberto Clemente Day. Andy Neverett is here to represent Capital One, and we appreciate your partnership, Andy. Um, you know, some great, great players, great players have gotten the Roberto Clemente Award. Derek Jeter, Albert Pujols, David Ortiz, John Smoltz. I was hoping Harold was going to be here today because I was going to say some not so great players. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you'll pass He was an all-star. He I was an all-star. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to continue the pattern of great players today by recognizing um, the selection of Aaron Judge as this year's Roberto Clemente Award winner. Uh, thank you. Well done. We're, we're all familiar um, with Aaron's accomplishments on the field. He's the reigning American League M MVP. Um, he holds the home run record in, in the American League, and he's the captain of the New York Yankees. But equally important are his accomplishments off the field. Um, he started the All Rise Foundation in 2018. Um, they've provided leadership and character training to over 2,000 kids. Um, they've made great choices in supporting other community groups through funding so they can continue to do their good work. This one I love. He personally conducts, involved himself in baseball and softball um, development programs, both in New York and California. Um, it's a great thing for the future of our game. Another one of my favorites, active with Make-A-Wish, been great with the Make-A-Wish kids. And this one may be the best of all. He has programs that are involved to, to try to make the social media environment in which our young people live more positive. Th that is an um, unbelievable list of accomplishments. And, you know, Aaron, you are, like so many of your fellow players, a real credit to our game. That's excellent. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Manfred, for those remarks. Uh, Roberto Clemente's indelible legacy lives on, thanks in part to our next speakers. It is my pleasure to introduce two of Roberto's three sons, Luis Clemente and Roberto Clemente Jr. Luis, would you like to begin? Yeah. Sure. Thanks so much. It's a great pleasure to be here, always. MLB, we're so proud of how you've carried our father's legacy. Uh, through the Roberto Clemente Award, through the Roberto Clemente Day. Capital One, thank you so much for supporting this uh, incredible program. I must say there are many players that we always speak to when they win the award, and their parents and their spouses tell us they were not able to sleep 
the previous evening, you know, how much this represents for uh, each one of you who win it. Those who have not been able to win it, we hear from them. <laughs> I must tell you, I know I'm going to be hearing from a few. <laughs> but certainly, we are so proud, Aaron, that you are the recipient of the Roberto Clemente Award this year. The parents, we commend you for doing such a great job. You know, this is a face that many youngsters look upon to, and uh, what you're doing, inspiring them to become incredible human beings and, and citizens, it's, it's really, truly amazing. That's what our father was sure, made sure to do with his legacy, and uh, you're a great, great representative of it, so congratulations. Mr. Commissioner, I want to start by saying thank you for what you have done for the game of baseball. Uh, I think this year has been a great example of the, your leadership. We're very excited. The game has become very cool for the young people, so we're very, very excited, right? Uh, Aaron, uh, I've told you this before. Um, we're so proud, and welcome to the Clemente family of award winners. Uh, we believe that uh, you're a true example of, of a great human being. Um, it's, it's actually what it's all about, and, and you are leading the charge of all these great players today that are leaving a great legacy. You're building your own, and we're very, very proud that you are the winner this year, so congratulations. And by the way, I have Clemente III here. He's a huge Judge fan, so that's why he, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere, so here he is. So. <laughs> so I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Uh, Roberto, Luis, thank you very much uh, for those. Go ahead. Uh, award winning of the Orris Watch, Clemente Watch. His obviously is 2023. All of the past recipients have received their watch with the uh, uh, special edition number, you know, matching the year they won the award. So he received his already. Okay. Sure. That's wonderful. Uh, I want to remind you that in 2022, Capital One became the presenting sponsor of not only the Roberto Clemente Award, but also Roberto Clemente Day. To speak on their behalf, please welcome Vice President and Head of External Affairs for Capital One, Andy Neverett. Thank you, and it's, uh, it's great to see uh, your son here. It's, um, I was probably your age uh, the last time I saw uh, your father play, uh, so just a very sort of meaningful moment. Um, uh, you know, on behalf of Capital One, uh, I'd like to thank the commissioner, I'd like to thank the Clemente family, and I'd like to congratulate Aaron on this incredible honor. Uh, as a proud Cuban American, uh, last year I got to tell a little bit of the story of my uh, father's personal connection uh, and the time that he spent in Nicaragua uh, as well. And so, um, you know, uh, your, your father was uh, my father's favorite player, uh, but his favorite team was the Yankees. And so uh, when I told him, 88 years old and going strong, that, uh, that I would be uh, part of this uh, ceremony, he was both deeply envious, but also just so excited. You're one of his modern day idols, and, uh, and for good reason. Not only a perennial all-star in your own right, uh, not only uh, somebody who I, I think uh, his performance on the field has really carried forward the legacy of, uh, of Roberto Clemente, uh, but also somebody who's off the field work, I, I think is just deeply admirable. Uh, you know, at Capital One, we like to say that the, uh, the proof is in the data. And um, when you think about uh, your programs, the All Rise Foundation, by the way, fantastic name. Uh, just credit to that. It's very clever. As the former lawyer in me uh, thinks that's just amazing. Um, but one of the things is, you know, that you've touched now 2,000 lives. Um, and at a, such a critical time in people's uh, uh, personal development, your focus on uh, building aspiring leaders among our youth, on supporting organizations like Bridge to College, these are the interventions that not only change the lives of the individuals, but the families of the individuals as well. And that's the flywheel that you're putting uh, into effect for, uh, with all the wonderful work that you're doing. So congratulations again, and can't wait to see where your career and your commitment take you next. Thank you, Andy, for that. Um, Aaron, uh, you're the fourth Yankee to win this prestigious honor alongside Ron Guidry, Don Baylor, and your captain predecessor, the great Derek Jeter. So I'm sure you have a lot to say. The floor is all yours. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. Uh, I want to say a thank you to the Roberto Clemente family, you know, getting a chance to meet you guys, get a chance to spend some time with you guys in Pittsburgh this year. Uh, was was very special and, and dear to me. You know, just being a nominee is an incredible honor that a lot of players look forward to. And you know, now getting a chance to be a Roberto Clemente Award winner, it's uh, it, it's tough to describe. You know, the the legacy your father left. He was, you know, we can sit here and talk about the stats, what he did on the field. You know, he was a generational talent on the field, but 
he was a generational, you know, ambassador for this game off the field. You know, how he touched the lives of the youth, inspired the youth, inspired this next generation of ball players, you know, that we see today. You know, we see so many young players that, um, you know, represent the game the right way. They play the game the right way and, you know, they give back to the kids. When I, when we spoke earlier when we were talking about the Little League World Series and we're seeing all these kids going out there and, you know, replicating what a lot of, a lot of our players are doing now, like that's, that's what it's about. You know, the, he, he grew the game. And that's something I want to continue to do is continue to grow the game. And uh, I want to say a thank you to my family, my beautiful wife, Samantha, uh, my parents, Wayne and Patty, you know, for all the help, my agents who are here and their families, you know, thank you for being here. And, you know, it goes back to, you know, 2018, you know, starting the All Rise Foundation. You know, I was sitting in the car, you know, talking with my family. And, you know, that's one thing that just got drafted. And they said, hey, what, do you, what is something you want to, you know, do with your career? And you know, I said, well, you know, I see CC Sabathia, Derek Jeter, they all have foundations. Dave Winfield before them, you know, had a great foundation and the way they impacted the youth and helped so many kids either going to college, you know, doing well in school, you know, things outside of outside of sports, it was so special. So we started brainstorming ideas, you know, what kind of, you know, catch a fly foundation, this and that. And we kind of stumbled upon the All Rise Foundation, which was, I think, pretty, pretty, pretty <laughs> suiting, pretty and suiting. So, uh, you know, just the, just the work we've accomplished, you know, with the help from my family, you know, especially my mom, um, you know, just the lives we touch. It's just the beginning, you know, just, you know, this is just another you know, step along the way. And, um, you know, like I said, it's just, it's just the beginning, you know, looking forward to helping more kids along the way, helping uh, Roberto the third, you know, continue on his journey as well. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. So it's, um, I just want to thank you and your family. It's, a, it's, this is amazing. Thank you, uh, commissioner for, for being here in this. This is, you know, I'm a part of the Roberto Clemente family, which is such a amazing group, you know, listing the previous winners. It's, uh, it's tough to, tough to put into words what that means. So thank you guys. Truly blessed. Thank you. Congratulations, Aaron. A round of applause to Aaron Judge. Now, I will open the floor for any questions. We uh, ask that all the questioning remain specifically on his recognition of his philanthropic work, please. So let's keep it to that. Go right ahead. Yes? From all the proposals you and the foundation get, how do you go about picking which ones to get involved with, and why are the ones you have picked uh, meaningful to you? Yeah, it, it really goes back to our mission statement, which is, you know, inspiring young uh, the youth to be, you know, the next leaders of this generation and uh, great citizens. So it always goes back to we get so many applicants and so many different uh, organizations to be a part of in California and New York. And, you know, when we kind of sit down and go through the process, you know, my mom's going through it, our board members are going through it. It's just every time we pick somebody, it's like, hey, does this line up with what our vision and what our goal is, you know, when we started this foundation? And, you know, always it's a little back and forth because there's so many great organizations out there and, and uh, different programs we can help. But, you know, when we finally come down to it, it's just about, you know, who's, you know, is this group going to inspire the next generation? Are they going to help, you know, with them, with leadership skills, school skills, just citizenship? And uh, it's just, it's a fun process. That's what you look forward to. It's fun having, even when you guys are going through the nominees, it's, it's, it's a tough, it's tough picking, picking the right one. But I think, you know, we always come out to the right answer, and it's that's what it's all about. We really enjoy that process. Congratulations, Aaron. The, uh, what was your reaction when you heard that you won, and what were you doing at the time when <laughs> you got the call? You know, I was at, actually at home in California visiting my uh, my parents. You know, my wife and I were there, and um, we were actually <laughs> we were both working out, and um, just I got a phone call from our PR, uh, Jason Zillow, and he kind of said, "Hey, you got a you got a minute? This is this is very important." And I'm like, "Oh, is there is there a trade going on? Is something, <laughs> something happening? Like, what's going on? Something something important?" And then he was like, "Hey, can you sit down?" And I said, "Yeah, yeah. What do you got?" And he said, "Oh, well, you just you won the Roberto Clemente Award." And I was I was speechless. He was like, "This is listing off everything to me," and I I really couldn't speak for a while. You know, I I told my wife, I was like, "You know, this is what do we do now?" And she's like, "Oh, you got to call your parents. You got to call your mom." So. You know, we FaceTimed my mom and, you know, gave her the good news because just the amount of hard work and dedication she puts into my foundation. And, you know, she had to pull the car over because she, when she heard the news, she didn't want to <laughs> get in a crash. So she had to pull off on the side of the road to uh, when, we, when we told her the good news. But it was um, just, a, just a special moment that I definitely won't forget. Go right ahead. Hey, Rob, this is for you. Uh, when you get the list of the nominees, 
do you look at and scroll it and say secretly in your mind, wow, I'd love to see this guy win, or do you look at it and say any of these guys would be great for me? You know what? It, it, the truth is that when you look at the list, you can't go wrong, uh, it, particularly when you read you know, what the players have done. Um, it, it, it is an amazing list, and I, you know, I said it in my remarks, and I really do mean it. It's credit to Major League players as a whole that each and every year you come up with one nominee from each club that, that truly would be a great pick to win this award. Any other questions? Okay, go ahead. Aaron, how much uh, have you been able to learn about the life and career of Roberto? And also as a, a fellow right, right fielder, you watch the highlights that we've all seen. What, what do you think when you see those? The 3,000 hits is impressive, uh, the batting average, the, the home run numbers, but honestly, uh, I'm jealous of the gold gloves. <laughs> you know, the, you know, I've seen, we've seen all the highlights of the ball getting hit down in the right field corner and him throwing it all the way home on a line. It's just, you know, he, I feel like he was, he was a standard for what it meant to be a, an all-star outfielder. You know, he took pride not only in what he did offensively, but he took more pride in what he did defensively. You know, he was a complete player. Like, to me, you know, even talking with, you know, Paul O'Neill with the, with the Yankees, you know, he wore 21 because of Roberto, played right field just like him. And, um, you know, he was, he was the standard. You know, he set the standard for what it was to be a complete player. And that's something I try to model my game after is trying to be a complete player offensively and defensively. So hopefully, I don't know if I'll catch a record for the amount of gold gloves he has, but hopefully one day I can, you know, definitely he'll be on my mind if that, if that day ever comes. Aaron, uh, I don't know if you know, but we've got a, a new media member that's in the room that wants to ask you a question. He's back in the corner. Does he look familiar? I, I, Hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, do dogs, dogs have a, they make it safely? Oh, yeah, they're here. They're here. Nice. They're here. You know, Gus, right? Gus and Penny, you got Gus it. And, yeah, Gus yeah. and Penny, yeah, nice. Uh, I got a question. So how does it feel to be the, uh, the tallest Roberto Clemente? <laughs> You know, me and Dave Winfield, we're out of eyes, so we might, you know, I think I think I, I tied the record, but this is this is just like I said, a special a special moment and you know, just like you know, you you do with your platform, you know, when we get to this get to this level, you know, in our careers and in our lives, you know, you know, I said it earlier on MLB Network, you know, to whom much is given, you know, much is required. You know, we've been given so much, surrounded by so many great people, surrounded by great family and friends, um, getting a chance to play the game that we love, you know, this is this is what it's about is, is giving back and helping that next generation to, you know, follow in our footsteps. Yeah, you're doing, you're, you're doing it right, bro. And uh, congratulations on this, this award. You're very well deserving of this, this and much more success you have in your life. And uh, just want to say what's up, brother. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate well it. done, Mookie <laughs> Betts with us. That's outstanding. Uh, we have time for one more question. One more. Go right ahead. Obviously, you know, the All Rise Foundation does a lot of work with the California Central Valley. Your alma mater, Fresno State, is going to be retiring your number soon. Just how did your time, you know, being part of the Fresno State community and the Central, com com Central Valley community as a whole help you shape into the person you are today? You know, those are some very pivotal years in my life. You know, you're coming out of high school. You know, you really don't know what you want to do in your life. I know I love playing baseball and I want to play baseball. So, you know, I got an opportunity to continue my education and my career at Fresno State. And, you know, the memories I, I shared there and the memories I made there with, you know, a wonderful coaching staff, um, you know, Coach Batesel, uh, Overland, who's now the head coach there, you know, even all the teammates I had there that pushed me and motivated me along the way. You know, I, you know, out of high school, I got drafted, but I just knew, you know, physically I wasn't ready and even mentally I was like, I'm not mature enough to take that next step. And those three years I spent at Fresno State to mature as as a player on the field, but also mature as an individual and as a young man off the field, you know, that just really shaped and kind of prepared me for this next jump into, you know, pro baseball, pro baseball for the New York Yankees. And, um, you know, I still go back and there's so many lessons I learned there, either from Coach Batesel or from my teammates or from the community that supported us so well. You know, the Red Wave, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> they show up in numbers. You know, I still go back to this day on, you know, life lessons I learned there and, you know, still contributed to, you know, daily life here it's it's impressive so those you know i look back on those days there's some great memories 
Well, that concludes tonight's press conference. We have a quick photo shoot with our guests up here at the dais, and then they're going to go to the field for the on-field ceremony. But before we do that, one more round of applause to our Roberto Clemente Award winner, Aaron Judge.